we got even more sneak peeks for Big Raga, and these ones are pretty interesting. They prove one of my assumptions about the model wrong, and also give us a lot of information on how to move a work. Let's go sneak by sneak and talk about what they show, so that we can figure out how it'll be in the next update. Before that though, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more in-depth analysis of Jujutsu Shenanigans updates. Let's go! To give credit, all these sneaks are from Tem on Discord, who sent these to me. Now, for the first sneak, it shows Z killing Big Raga in the canon way, with the domain expansion plus fire arrow combo. What this shows is that Big Raga isn't completely immortal, which makes sense. This could of course be a temporary feature that only exists for this sneak, but if it isn't changed, then you can at least kill Big Raga, unlike how things are with Hakari. Whether or not you need to actually overwhelm Big Raga with a bunch of different attacks to kill him is up in the air though. I should also add in that the range for the ritual is quite long, at least from what I'm seeing in this sneak, so it shouldn't be too hard to catch people in it, especially in public servers. Though I don't actually know what benefits you get from catching someone in it, besides you stopping them from running. Also, it shows us the model for Big Raga, making it clear that Z's avatar was a placeholder in his previous sneaks. The second sneak I have mostly consists of Z screwing around while in Big Raga form, but there's some stuff to take away from it. First, you can still emote while in Big Raga form, which is hilarious. But the main thing that's important to note is that using Big Raga restores your awakening entirely. This is something I'm a little wary of because it could turn Big Raga from being a trade-off into being a press this button when your awakening is about to run out move. More time in Big Raga form does sound like fun, compared to just having it run out in 5 seconds because you already burned out Megumi's awakening, but it could be unbalanced depending on how strong Big Raga is. We don't know enough about Big Raga yet to actually call it unbalanced or balanced yet, so whether or not using the mode in exchange for losing a life is worth it isn't clear. The final sneak peek we have is arguably the most important one, and this one shows us the M1s and dashes for Big Raga. First, the walk speed is decent, and not slow like I thought it would be in my last video. This means that chasing people after popping the move won't actually be that much of a hassle. Second thing of note is that the M1s break walls, so good luck running from that, because if you try hiding in a building, Big Raga can just break it open. Final thing of note is that the dashes seem to be extended as well, seeing how Z went so far that he got flanked. Basically, all of Big Raga's mechanics look like they're primed for rush downing, and will be great for stopping people trying to run in their tracks. This isn't even including the moves that might be coming to Big Raga, which will probably make it even more difficult to stall out the mode which might be your only option, depending on how strong the adaptation ability is. I'm honestly both excited and terrified of how strong Big Raga can be, and even though we don't know that much, what we do have still looks incredibly strong. Honestly, we might get some unkillable murder monster that can't be stalled out, and if that turns out to be the case, Megami is definitely going to rise up a few tiers from getting a decent awakening. That's all I have to say about the sneaks we have so far. If you enjoyed this video and my discussion on the Big Raga sneak peeks, then make sure to subscribe because I do this stuff regularly, and subscribing helps me continue to make my channel. I'm Noob Eternally, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.